my god, what is up, guys? This is Corbett. Welcome to what looks to be an absolutely disastrous opening round of a replay submitted by Mr. Cork. Giant specialist action gun, Amiga 36 supply <laughs> on round one of this game. And let's hope it gets better from here. I got a feeling that it is, man. I've been promised a max level War Factory in this happy little replay, man. Let's see how that can possibly come to pass, given that, I don't know, just one guy goes like Acid Scorpions or something. Or like EMP, you know, just completely shut it down. I'm curious as to how this is going to go. I don't know if it's like a unit producing War Factory. That could be kind of badass to just be like spam producing level 9 units. Um, or if it's going to be like a carry style War Factory. You'll just have to find out with me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see what our selections are and if this is going to inform our choice. Maybe we'll end up with like an improved War Factory or something. Oh, never mind. It's a unit round. Okay. Fortress comes out. Look at that newbie Fortress, man. It's got like no health at all. Not close to what our factory could end up becoming. Okay. Hurry things along. We're up against a Vulcan on the AI. So the fortress is going to be fine. I mean, the fortress basically guarantees that we just kill everything, right? How much cash have we got? 336 supply only. Oh, God. See, ideally, you'd be able to pick up the fortress and just drop into the fortress. Um. I mean, God. What the hell do we even spend on here, genuinely? Just, just like another pack of fangs or something? We just picked up some extra phoenixes. Okay, fair enough, man. So what tech is the phoenix? We could also pay attention to the sledgehammers and the phoenixes and anything like that that comes down. Um, just because whatever tech they go into could maybe affect whether or not we're going to go like a carry war factory build or a factory war factory build. Um, I like these tech options, I guess. There's no phoenix rebirth, which I mean is fair enough. Like everybody runs uh, Electro Mag Maxman these days, right? You can't really get away with the rebirth quite as much. Unless you just have so many phoenixes that you're going to go like a full swarm build, I guess. Okay. AI is just clapping our cheeks on this side of the map. At least we get an okay amount of supply this round, though. We're not the worst. I think that's the only thing that matters. Ooh. We're actually going to get another pylon down at the end, man. Okay. I take it all back. We've made up for the first round here. A supply round here of about 300. That's pretty decent, man. Okay, but down we go in the end. It's yellow takes the spoils. Okay, man. We're up against Fortress, Fortress Range, blah, blah, blah. Reinforcement selection. We grab a redeployment. What are we planning on doing with that? We're just going to move the Fortress over. Oh my god, the factory just comes down immediately. Okay, that means that we're almost definitely going to hit efficient maintenance then, right? Surely. We have the cash to do it. I think if you drop a factory this early, yeah, it's just suicide if you don't hit the... um. Efficient maintenance button. Self-deletion, I should say. YouTube doesn't like it when you use the S-word, man. You can get your channel blacklisted and all kinds. YouTube is honestly pretty dystopian these days, but whatever, man. That's either it's neither here nor there, man. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of words you just can't say regardless of context. God damn it. Well, if I don't bleep it out, wish me luck, boys. Could be could all be over. Okay, anyways, man. So efficient maintenance comes out. The loadout we are running on the factory looks to be production heavy. Phoenix production. Sledgy steel balls. Am I the only one who feels like the sledgehammer production of War Factories is just a little bit crap? It's a little bit naff, you know? Like, steel ball production kind of works because you can go, like, mechanical division on the steel balls. And so it's, like, chaff creating chaff, in a sense. Um, helps the War Factory live. Phoenix production is obvious, you know, carry purposes. Makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, can we actually get a hit level 2 on this factory immediately? On the opening round? Can we, can we do that? We're going to avoid this big boy over here. This guy is like the great white shark to our... I was going to say plankton. Great white sharks don't eat plankton. But whatever, man. It's the orca to our blue whale. There you go, man. That's close enough. Uh... I don't think it's going to get to kill anything else, man. It might very, very... Oh, never mind. This is... Oh, God. No, here comes the big boy. Just die. Woo! Okay, that was real lucky. It's life flash before its eyes, but it hits the level 2. That's all that matters. Oh? Oh my god, it actually gets the tower as well before it dies. Okay, absolute hero War Factory did. That was actually big. Okay, round 4 with a level 2 factory. So the thing is, we've also revealed the War Factory early, right? Tank production line. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I think that because we picked up tank production line on our fortress here... I feel like that actually makes it worth just slamming down one unit of tanks and just give them, like, um, mechanical rage so they have the move speed and they run ahead 
of the uh, War Factory. I think that would actually work as chaff now because there's multiple units that are producing tanks, right? I think that would be pretty cool, man. Dude, is this going to be like a full zoo War Factory build? No, it can't be. It can't be. That's too expensive. How the hell do we get it to max level and turn it into a zoo War Factory as well? That's like, you're talking about pumping 12,000 supply or something into your War Factory at that point. Not really, but it's a lot, you know. That would be amazing though, man. Producing like max level of every unit. Like, I know it only produces a certain amount of times before it kind of conks out, but... But god damn. Okay, what supply have we got? We're sitting on 96. Fair enough. So we're going for more fortresses. Dude, we don't even run shield. We don't even run barrier on the fortresses anymore. Like, god damn. Okay, like, I knew... I know, I know like, the, um, the, the barriers on the fortresses was nerfed recently. Oh, no. Oh, this is a disaster. I'll get it dead. It's gonna... We're actually safe. Jesus. Okay, that was a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, Yeah, like, I know the barriers on Fortress was nerfed somewhat recently, like in the other day's patch, but I still feel like it's very worth running, to be fair. It's just not quite gonna be as oppressive, you know? It's not gonna be as easy to uh, sort of run away run away with games um, based purely on just an unstoppable wall of Fortresses, which is what I think the nerf was for. It was reduced from, like, 40,000 shield health per level to 36,000. Okay, so the War Factory at least doesn't die to the melting point. That's basically all we get from this round, man. As for supply, not bad, not great, not terrible. As Dyatlov once said, let's skip ahead, man. Okay. It's going to be another win for the AI just now as this last tank from Yellow goes down. I do want to point out, though, that Yellow, is he on the left? He's over here. So Yellow is running some shield wasps that already have a couple of upgrades over there. He's somebody to worry about, Okay. He's someone that we've got to be a little bit concerned of. What tech is it? Oh my god, this is the Saber, uh, Saber Tooth. I'm guessing that's going to get sold. There it goes. To pay for another War Factory. Okay, dude, we're getting a production line going here now, man. Holy crap. Okay, anyways, yeah, these Wasps. Okay, they're not running Electromag. Never mind. Neither are the Arc Lights. Neither are the Tanks. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Yellow does not have the answer at all to uh, stop this right now. No Electromag attacks. Nothing that can do acid damage. He should be responding to this right away, really, shouldn't he? Mate? Oh, come on, man. He should be grabbing a fortress. Uh, sorry, like a, a goddamn... What's a, what's it called? A scorpion. Grabbing a scorpion. One melting point, even. Doing a little bit of something. Okay, man. So we're against an absolute blob here. War factories get the plus range upgrade. Okay, so we're actually going for, like, the carry war factory style tech first. Picking up the range. Maybe we're just expecting something like melting points to come out here. There's no way this factory... Uh, sorry, this rhino is going to make it past the factory. Very good. This means that this factory is also going to get a crap load of experience here as well. Kind of love it. Do you know what level... I mean, surely it's not multiple max level factories. This is too much cash, right? I think our eyes are going to be on the blue factory. You know? Okay, let's hurry things along. It's looking like a pretty decent supply round, even though our army moves at one mile an hour. The AI is just annihilating whoever's on this side, so that's helping us out a lot as well. A lot of things have to kind of fall into place, right? For like a ridiculous meme build like this to actually work. Okay. Still really, really good money. Look at the supply, dude. 600 cash coming in. Somehow everyone is just getting owned by the, uh, by the AI, dude. We're going to get like 800 supply here, man. Okay, not quite. 750. Not bad either. Alright. Which is damn good because we need all the money we can get. Alright, man. Intensive training. Oh, dude, you know that Coke's eyes lit up? He was, he was pulling all kinds of surprise Pikachu faces there, man. When that came out. Okay. And then into Phoenix production. Alright, man. So we do still have a couple packs of Phoenixes on the field. Um... How much money have we got? We still got 380. Okay, never mind. We just upgraded the uh, fortress. We, 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 we're we broke. Some additional fangs. I don't mind that. That's fine. It's a strange round to pull out the fangs, given that um, we're up against mass plus range Vulcans. Then again, this guy might just two-shot this Vulcan instantly. But okay, yeah, some upgrades on the Phoenixes and range enhancement. Seems like it could be smart uh, on the Phoenixes sooner rather than later, given that we have a couple of nerds now pumping them. They only produce five Phoenixes, right? Well, five sets of phoenixes, so ten phoenixes total. No, it's just one phoenix at a time. What the hell am I talking about? 
It only produces five phoenixes? Dude, I don't know how I feel about all this goddamn production limitation on your war factories, man. Like, I understand they've got to do something. I understand they've got to do something to stop, uh, because everybody would just go war factory builds in free-for-all, right? And everybody's PCs would literally go into full meltdown because of the amount of units on screen. But I don't like the unit limitation, man. I, I, I don't like that as a solution, you know? Okay. Anyways, our fangs get understandably just utterly, utterly eviscerated. Let's just go ahead and speed on through this. We're going to pick up a good amount of supply again here, you know. Really not bad, especially if we can turn around and pick up this tower over here too. We're going to kill steal on the... Uh... Oh, no, we didn't get that. Oh, yeah, we didn't get it. Okay. 400 supply deep, level 4 war factory going up against the Giga Chad units. It doesn't care, man. No! Okay, it's starting to slightly care now. 744 supply, dude. And counting, actually. Okay, I mean, we can't kill anything else, but that's just ridiculous. Okay, yeah, I was trying to understand how the, uh, like, the economics of this game were going to work. Because a max level anything is hard enough. Max level War Factory doesn't get more challenging than that. I can see now how this is coming together. Okay, everybody has melting points. Okay, nobody has any excuse for losing to this goddamn War Factory anymore, dude. The game has just given the entire lobby melting points. It looks like a lot of people picked it up as well. We grabbed one too. Not sure about that. Oh my god, dude. We go into Elite Maxman on the Phoenixes? Before range? I mean, I get it. We are producing, it's already level 5, 800,000 health. We're already producing level 5 phoenixes uh, from this war factory, so I guess Elite Maxman makes some sense. Do we have cash enough? We have 200 supply left, man. Are we going to go for shields? I think I would have just accepted a loss this round. If you lose, you lose, whatever. Like, we're against Electromag, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit awkward, but I think the fangs protect against that, and this factory just literally one-shots everything here very, very, very quickly. This war factory would get electromagged. Um, I think I would have just took that, to be honest. We've got the anti-air barrage on the fortresses to take care of the geeks that this guy is spawning. Or at least to uh, clean up the wasps a little. Oh my god, it hit nothing. Zero wasps died this day, dude. What the hell, man? Anti-air barrage on fortresses. Man, they should be heat-seeking, man. They should actually be heat seeking. Well, we're going to hold anyway. Even though we're losing all of the towers behind the AI here, which sucks a little bit. So it's going to be definitely a slower uh, cash farming round for us here. In come the shielded fangs. These guys are still a bit of a problem. I wonder if range in the fangs isn't worth it. We need something to deal with these fangs, right? Uh, sorry, these wasps. Oh my god. Look at how crap the anti-air missiles are, man. To be fair, those ones did a little bit of damage. We did kill off one wraith with them. Maybe I'm being harsh. I don't know. They feel either awesome or absolutely trash as a tech. The anti-air missiles, man. I want to point out that this war factory is not in danger of dying at all. I've got to check what everybody else is doing after the end of this. Because we are heading into round 8 just now. I haven't even seen anybody's melting points yet. Okay. Okay. Looks like Green is finally starting to take some wins against the AI, so that's good. He's making progress. God love him. Okay, where are the melting points, man? What is... What, 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 what's... What, what, there's a melting point all the way back here. Senior defense specialist? Hell yes, man. That was a double level up as well on the War Factory. We're at level 7 now. 1.5 million health, dude. And we haven't even hit our research center buttons yet either. Oh, dude. Okay, man. This is this is like a replay of old. What's going on over here? This is us. We got... <laughs> we very quickly decided against that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think slamming the phoenixes over there with the redeploy is, is the play. Uh, okay, so one of the melting points want energy diffraction. It's generally a really bad idea if you're using it to try and kill off a Giga Chad. Because um, you're just nerfing the range on yourself. Uh, where's the other melting points? Maybe this guy just didn't go for it or he sold it. We still got one over here. He also went for energy diffraction. Oh god, oh god, that's really bad. That's not great, man. That is not great. There's also a lot of um 
Oh, okay. Ne ne never mind, never mind. I thought there was uh, electromagnetic tanks on the field. So the guy who could actually maybe kill us off, who has a, at least a lot of melting points and scorpions, is on the other side of the map. Some poor soul has decided to waste all of this energy. Could be used to power London for a month. On the war factory here, dude. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Look at... It's health is barely moving, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna die, right? I mean, the fangs are slowing them down by quite a lot. But as soon as those fangs are gone, yeah, these guys are fit to start melting just now. Oh god, there it goes. Wow, dude. It just tanked a million damage. No problem. But look, look, look. Here comes the goddamn Ned. It stops way out of range, and now by the time it gets into range, it's just gone, dude. It's just food for the War Factory, man. Dude, this isn't even a War Factory anymore, man. What is this? A War Continent? I don't even know what. I mean, it just tanks everything. We could still really use range on these Phoenixes, by the way. In fact, I think we just probably should have got every tech on the Phoenixes now, at this point. I mean, we're producing level 9 Phoenixes, right? I mean, very, very soon. We're about to be level 8. Okay. But yeah, look, man. These guys also went energy diffraction, so they're just so vastly outranged by the phoenixes that they can't even take these trades. Oh, God. Energy diffraction was such a throw, man. Oh. God damn it, dude. Okay. The only time I like energy diffraction is if your opponent is going mega, mega aggro or is, like, flooding one of your flanks or something. Then, yeah, sure. Plonk, like, a melting point here and here. Energy diffraction, range, go ham, you know. Then it's great. Like when the distance is already closed, it works so excellent. Um, otherwise, oh god. I mean, it looks glorious. So I can't knock people for uh, being tempted and all, but... Oh my god. Still no upgrades at our pool at level 1 phoenixes here, by the way. We're actually going to keep these uh, fortresses. Uh, sorry, these uh, these Vulcans. Oh my god, not only did we keep them, we also went into Incendiary Bomb. I mean, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. What's everybody else doing over here now? No one coming in for flanks. The wasps don't have Electromag here either. There's not even Electromag in the bloody Stormcallers over here, dude. Like, nobody is equipped to deal with this, man. <laughs> okay. Alright. I don't know, dude. This is a lot of beams. Surely it can't survive this. No, it's gonna go down now. Oh my god. It still manages to get a counter kill on one of them in the middle. No way. Oh my god, dude, it actually lived. <laughs> Alright, dude. I think that might have been with some health from the steel balls. Or was it just one-shotting everything? I'm not even sure. Either way, it's like two health now. Just these steel balls need to latch for just a second. Oh my god, they're not going to get to. It's actually going to live, isn't it? It's actually going to live. No way, dude. I mean, that... That is ridiculous. I know, Looney. It's absolutely insane. Man, even my cat's going berserk, man. She's going crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this along. I mean, it's just going to be the same story against these godforsaken melting points, dude. Oh, okay, okay, let me skip in. I can't, I can't believe that thing lived. That's insane. You know what's even crazier is that this little tiny amount of health that it has left, that little smidgen of health that it has left, is like as much health as like a level 2 fortress, man. <laughs> it looks like it's almost dead. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice and quickly done. We're against the big divs. We're going to get to level to max this next level, man. Oh my god. Dude, we have to start producing more units. Another senior defense specialist? No way. Okay, that's a double senior defense. Oh, dude, it's the last round. We haven't even hit defense enhancement. Bro, we have to hit defense enhancement. I'm not even going to look at its health yet. You guys probably know, because let's be real. If its health is just utterly ridiculous, it's going to be in the thumbnail. Come on, dude. Come on, man. We've got 200 supply left. Just just push it, dude. Yes. Okay, let's see where we are, man. Oh, only 2.6 million. No problem, dude. 
<laughs> no problem. Now it's actually a war continent. Okay. Genuinely. Oh my god, we didn't go into we ended up going into no other unit text though. Ooh. See, I think I would have even just sold the Vulcan. To be honest. I would have just sold the goddamn Vulcan. And went into like steel ball production or whatever, you know? Because I think you just might as well. Like, why not, right? You're producing level 9 steel balls. Or even the sledges uh, will be fine. If you sold the Vulcan last round and then sold another Vulcan this round, we could have got, like, goddamn sledgehammer production, bought some sledgehammers, and give them some upgrades, you know? And then we're really talking, man. Then the juices are flowing, right? Okay, so we're against these big chunguses with fought on a mission. I think we're just going to still kill them through without any problem at all. Yes, we are. In fact, the War Factory is basically taking just no damage. Not that it, it's probably already taken, like, it's probably taken 500,000 damage, but its health bad, it hasn't moved. We're at that stage, if it's evolution now. Steel balls with damage sharing. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, God, down they all go. And again, man, the phoenixes that we're producing here are just max level with elite maxman and range. So these phoenixes that we're producing are dealing 75,000 damage per shot. <laughs> Yeah, it's no wonder this melting point's not getting much done, man. Ooh, it's actually going to kill an hour melting point over here now, but... That's about all it's going to do. We've got quite the wasp swarm to deal with over here, which is quite effective, by the way. Like, I think that of all of our opponents, really green has done the most. Um, go for, like, a wasp swarm style build. Like, shielded wasps, mothership, all that kind of thing. That's, like, fine, you know. That's a fine... That's, like, a stat for buying time uh, against War Factory. I can't believe there's not a single puddle of acid on the entire battlefield, though. That is crazy as hell. People! At least by, like, round seven. You gotta look at what other people are doing on the map, you know? Yeah, uh, so none of these melting points are gonna touch anything. And that is the story of the War Continent, man. Absolutely ridiculous. I think what really just makes this insane is the double senior defense specialist. 2.6 million. Oh my god, Cork. You absolute madman. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit like on the video. And if you've got any crazy replays like this one here is a bit of my Mr. Cork, then make sure to share your replays in the official Mechabellum Discord in the Share Your Replay channel, man. And there's a decent chance that if it's insane, if it's mental, if it's batshit crazy, there's a good chance that I'll go ahead and check it out in a review like this. So thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to catch all of y'all just a tad bit later, man. My god.